Hey guys, today Matt and I drove two hours from Surfers Paradise to the Glass House Mountains National Park and we're going to start the day off with a nice hike and then maybe go for lunch around the Sunshine Coast area, just check out the... We're like exploring so much of the like East Coast at the minute. So. Yeah, it's so good and this National Park is incredible. So some of the mountains look like it could be off Avatar. Yeah. Like if you flip the camera around you can actually see a glimpse. <gasps> this is literally such a good shot. Wow. So we're going to start the hike and we'll bring you guys along. All right, so first up, we're going to take the um, Tibrogargan circuit, which is four kilometers. And then up the top, there should be an amazing mountain view of the uh, Glass Bottom Mountains. And I think Glass earlier House. in the intro, Summer, did you say? The Glass House Mountain. Glass, Glass House Mountain. Yeah. yeah, what did I say in the intro? You said Nag Nagaragalum. Nagaragalum? Did you say that? No, I don't think so. I think in <laughs> Aboriginal, Narad Nagalum, I'm pronouncing it probably terribly, says hello, good day. Oh. But I thought cool. that's what you said, what the mountain was. No, I don't think this is a sacred place, I think, as well. So I read on the sign that a lot of brown snakes can be seen in this area. <gasps> Birds of prey soaring above, lots of reptiles, hopefully some big spiders. I don't want to see a snake, I don't like them. So we've come to this first point here and you can get a look at the mountain. How amazing does that look? So good, I'm so excited to keep going. As we're walking through, we're noticing a lot of the forest area it looks like it's been part of a forest fire and it's actually burnt. All right, quick update. We have found the route. This actually goes to the very summit. It says for experienced climbers only, so Four hours. yeah, we'll go for that. Four hours, probably smash that out in two. So we're gonna go to the other lookout point first. Take a look across to the Glaus. The Glaus? What am I saying today? I'm messing up all my words. <laughs> yeah. We've come to a crossroads. Which way is it? Oh, that's helpful. <laughs> uh, this way, to the right. Favorite line of the day from summer. Will we get enough high that it gets too hard to breathe? <laughs> I didn't know if we'd get altitude sickness. <laughs> I don't think so on a four kilometre trail, but I appreciate you being aware of what could happen. I think it's because I'm out of breath. I didn't know if that was me being unfit or <laughs> we were going high. So is this Mount Beerburrum? You say it. Mount Beerburrum. <laughs> Once more. 280 metres, that's quite a high. Beerburrum. Beerburrum. And yeah, 280 metres. <laughs> the, bulk, the bulk is under progress at the moment. So I did the, did the 30k run not long ago, but the bulk has commenced. So we just got to this crossroad and we're like, we've definitely seen this before. Turns out we've like come in a circle and the lookout point that we were looking for we've actually forked past. So there was like a little lookout quite early on in the trail with two guys sitting, eating. But it was quite small. I think we were thinking like we had to go really high for it. I thought it. we were going to climb up the mountain, yeah. Yeah. But that so, would have been where I mentioned earlier that it's like the four hour advanced climb. Yeah, so we're going to go back and find that and yeah, go a bit higher, I think. That way. This was the little lookout point which we walked past. Here it is. That's quite a cool mountain. Yeah, so... I can't believe we walked straight <laughs> past this. It's so amazing. We did, well, we did take a quick look. Quick look, we were straight on to the next thing. I thought we had to go higher to see that on there, but it does look good. This is where I was before when we talked about the mountain and the high climb. It's three to four hours, it says. I just asked a couple if they've done it before, and they said yes, and it took, took about an hour, so they did look like pro climbers. But Experienced we'll climbers only. Nice. I've just come across this sign. This route is very challenging. Only attempt it if you are fit and prepared. People, People have, died. have died here. So I'm just going to show you guys where we are now. This is the next part that we have to climb. As you can see, it properly is rock climbing. 
And this is where we've just come up. I'm not sure if you can tell how steep it is from the video, hopefully you can. That is the incredible view of the mountains. Summer is already doing an incredible job. I'm gonna wait here and catch Summy if anything happens. Got my hands ready, or oh, hand. All right, we've reached the top of this section. That was scary. That was, I just wanted to say, although we do make a few jokes about things, you have to respect the climbing. It's really important to only ever do what you're comfortable with and not take unnecessary risks. I'm just thinking now though, I'm not sure how I'll get back down. Apparently this path keeps going, but I'm not really ready to scare them I can off. see someone coming down. So yeah, that's too much for me. You want to decide this too much, yeah? Do you want to go? Oh well, Where's I think you path? should decide because it's how what you feel comfortable with, and there's no pressure. Oh, this is amazing, so it's fine. I like this height as well. Right. Look at that. I've seen some other people coming down, and I don't think I'm going to be doing that. That is too much like rock climbing for me. <laughs> And getting down looks the hardest part. Everyone yeah. seems to also have hiking shoes, whereas we came with like sunglasses. Your soul, <laughs> Snack time. <laughs> Thought we would make the most of being on top of the mountain and have a bit of a protein bar snack. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Meanwhile, serious hikers <laughs> sat with a protein bar. Hike mission complete. We're now gonna head for something to eat down on the Sunshine Coast, 40 minute drive from here. Let's go. So this is the restaurant that we're planning on eating at for energy. Are we still right for food if we order straight away? Um, yeah, cool. We've just ordered two chicken poke bowls and two green smoothies. So I'm really excited to eat. Good, nice spot, then we'll eat and then we'll walk along this road. Yeah, this is where we're sitting. It's and a cute little cafe. The beach is just past there and it looks amazing. So yeah. what's this place called again? Malucci. Let me have a quick look. There, it was on your weather thing. Oh. Mar Maruchidor. Maruchidor, Sunshine Coast. Cool, check it out. Pokeballs have arrived. That is a good, healthy portion. Look at that. We literally order the exact same all the time. This yeah. looks so good. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm -mm. It's good. And all in all, for those wondering, that came to $65 with the two drinks as well. Mm. Sometimes it's interesting knowing the prices of things mm. when you watch videos. Our green smoothies have arrived. Give it a try. Oh shit. I'll okay. go try that. Mm -hmm. Good? Oh, that's good. Nice bamboo straw. Mmm, can taste banana. Oh, yeah, this is a very healthy meal. It's good. Finishing up the juice. Nearly finished. What are we doing next then? Shall we walk down to the beach and check this area out? This is where we are on the map. Marucci door. Got a cute little high street. Just walking. Nice something caught your eye in there, babe. Do you want to go in? No, I thought I had a nice aesthetic. I like the palm tree vibe. Yeah, it does look quite nice in there. Okay, so I think the beach is this way. This looks nice. We've also found another vegetarian, kind of healthy restaurant. Oh, I've spotted the beach and some palm trees. Got a campsite as well if you want to do some camping. Oh. Lots of different styles, isn't there? Yeah. I'd like to do a huge RV tour in America yeah. with one of those bus RVs. That's going to be one of our adventures maybe over the next couple of years, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, we're fully in the caravan park now. Oh, look, they've got like a full-on tent outside there. I think that's called an awning. Matt coming through with the campsite <laughs> knowledge and terminology. You can have a caravan, you can stay in one of these little huts. So these guys here, they've got the best spot. Yeah, because um, they're looking out to the yeah, beach. Yeah, they could have a view right onto the beach. Oh, yeah. These caravans can just come out here. Look at that palm tree. This is nice. Look at the mountains in the background. Like, oh, yeah. There, that way. It's be good to explore this on a jet ski, actually. We got one. Yeah, that would be cool if we had a jet ski and bring it up. It's really nice and calm. It reminds me of the palm in Dubai where the water's like a lake. Oh, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because there's no waves here. Gorgeous weather today. 
some nice restaurants down there. <laughs> Got some people stand up paddle boarding. Perfect, kind of like waves for it because there's no waves. If that makes sense. <laughs> this is a nice beach tucked away in this little bay. So we're going to go find a lighthouse now. Um, it's called Port Cartwright Lighthouse. Point Cartwright. Point. <laughs> it's not a port, is it? All right, we're walking back through the campsite now to get to the car. Do you feel like a KFC? Does anyone feel like a KFC? No, a chicken singer. <laughs> One for the orange oh, and black. Tank? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Let's go past that. Ooh. Well, okay, no, we're... this one's got this one's got a carport car with it. Wow, it's like fully, yeah, like fully a built the way in. Things, you know, the house oh yeah. The Maybe they live in that one. We're just driving through a neighbourhood now, looking at all the houses. Look at this one. That's quite a nice modern one. Yeah, that's really cool. We find it so interesting just like driving around looking at all the houses, don't we? And a lot of these are waterfront, so there's the rivers running through either side. Here's another big house. Oh, it's yellow. A bit weird. Mm. So we have just come into Medina. Okay, we've arrived at Point Cartwright, which is in Medina. This is a good spot, isn't it? Yeah. An amazing beach. So I think we're going to walk up to the lighthouse up there. This is a look at the beach. How cute. Cut the glow for turtles. This is where we're heading, up the nature walk. It's called Point Cartwright. Let's go explore. Dora challenge. <laughs> <laughs> There's the lighthouse. And then if you come on to this little lawn, Look how nice the view looks. I don't think that's a lighthouse. Oh, it said on the map it was no, a lighthouse. Like a cool artwork though. Let me show them. Oh wow, it's like a full on turtle. Can you see that? It's like a turtle on the building. Awesome. Is that, we're at the top, right? Yeah, I think so. Okay, next activity, <laughs> let's go. So yeah, this is Point Park, right? It's a really nice, View of the beach. Oh my god, it's very bright, so I can open my eyes. But it's such a nice view. Hour. Yeah, soon, soon. So it's like 3 pm now. Yeah, it's been such a cool day, hasn't it? We've seen a lot of different things, so mm. Sunshine Coast vlog, it's been fun. Let us know if there's anywhere else in like Queensland that we should check out. We might go to like Noosa Heads, but let us know your suggestions because I think we have a few Australian people watching us now. I'd like yes. to explore some waterfalls. Yes, Springbrook's. Springbrook Falls. Spring. Springbrook, Springbrook Falls. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So we're going to do that, we're going to do a vlog there. But there's so much, like we haven't even scratched the surface of Queensland, of course. We've only been to a few places, but we've loved every minute of where we've seen so far. So yeah. we'll keep bringing you along. And should we wrap this vlog up here? Should we wrap it up? Yeah, wrap it up like a Christmas present. <laughs> we hope you guys enjoyed watching the vlog. Make sure to like, subscribe. Do all that good stuff, support the channel. Yeah. Drop us a comment as well about um, some other cool things that we should get up to, any recommendations. Um, we always like to see all your comments and try to reply to as many as possible. See you later.